Greetings. Let's talk for a minute. I want to start this conversation off <clears throat> by asking you a question. First of all, what group do you play in? Just mean what group, what name, what location, what city, whatever. Now, how many people are active in your group? Just think about that for a minute. Now, I want you to think of the people who are active, how well do you know each of them? Suppose in a few months you have an event coming up. You need to recommend them for awards. How well do you know each of them? What, what's each of them do? Seriously, think about it. Make a list. Ask yourself, what, what do each of these people do? At Lady Wads, most of you probably can't. You, you don't know. And that's okay. <laughs> I'm not expecting any of you to have eidetic memories. But I want you to understand something. Your, I just asked you about the active members at your local group, and the vast majority of you probably can't come up with a comprehensive list of all the active members and all of their activities. Now, to be fair, that's not your job, but I want you to expand that up for a second. The Kingdom of Onsteora encompasses the mundane states of Texas and Oklahoma. Texas is the second largest by land mass, and with Oklahoma attached, north to south, that's like 45% of the vertical distance from the, south, from, from the southern tip of Texas to the border with Canada. You're almost halfway there before you leave the Kingdom of Ansteora if you travel north from the southernmost point. It's a huge area. And our kings are selected by tournament, for God's sake. They're, on the, 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 they're heirs to the throne for three months, and they sit on the throne for six months, present company accepted. God bless you, your eternal majesty, Jason and, Mar J Jason and Margarita, excuse me, um, who are going on two years now. But these crowns have been sitting there for, you know, at the most, by the time they step down, nine months. All awards in a kingdom have to be signed by the crown, ultimately. Anything that carries any rank... Do you expect them to know everyone in the kingdom? Think about that. Their signature's got to go on any piece of paper that carries rank. Anything that's a ward of arms or up has the crown signature on it. End of discussion. And you probably couldn't think of everyone in your local group, but these guys have to remember and know everyone. There are baronies out east that have a larger population than the active SCAers in the state of Oklahoma right now. How, how their barons and baronesses can keep track of all of them boggles my mind at times. Um, you're, you're talking about a massive undertaking, and they don't have the time to do this. This is a volunteer organization. I don't know how many hours the crown puts into being the crown while they're on the throne, but I guarantee you 40 hours a week is not enough to keep track of all of those people. Now, why am I saying this? I'm saying this because this conversation normally starts with it's time for award recommendations. And we always tell people, oh, you need to recommend your friends for awards. But I really think we're kind of missing the boat here. We, by SCA law, say the crown has to sign off on all awards. And then we don't tell the crown about who deserves the awards. They're blind, and it's our fault. How's that for a spin? These people, they have six months to get ready. Then they, they have three months to get ready, and they sit on the throne for six months. And so many people magically expect them to know about every good deed and heroic act and amazing thing that happens in a landmass the size of Ansteora that takes... 10 hours to drive north to south if you're willing to pay for some of the speeding tickets? Come on, guys. That's not realistic. And that's exactly what we do when we don't do award recommendations. 
Okay, so that's the shock and awe part of this. That's the smack in the face to get you to realize how important award, recommend award recommendations are. How do we do it? What, what are award recommendations? First of all, I am talking from an Ansteorin centric standpoint. Do other kingdoms do it differently? Yes, yes they do. So if you're outside of Ansteora, I want you to look up how your kingdom does award recommendations. But if you're from Ansteora, keep listening. Start off with in the show notes, there's going to be a link to the Ansteorn Order of Precedence, or the OP, um, the, the searchable version that lets you look up people. I want, you to look, I want you to make a list of all the people you know, who you know what they do. You know all of the amazing things they've done. And then I want you to look them up in the OP and see what awards they have. Seriously, it, it, this is a big undertaking. It'll be a few hours, but I want you to do that. I, seriously, I want you to go do that. I want you to see, does the guy who's been helping out for the past six months, does he have an award for service? Does the guy who's been painting scrolls for a year, does he have an award for scroll painting or service in scroll painting? Does the guy who's been fighting for two years, three years, who's been awesome with, with his weapons, does he have a fighting award? Does he have any fighting awards? Does he have any awards? Does the guy who's been active for two years helping out, does he have his AOA? I'm not kidding. We've had that conversation in the past. There are people who in the past 20 years have gone three and four years without an AOA because everyone assumed they already had it. It's time to stop assuming. Go to the AOA. You're going to start there. I want you to make a list of your friends, of the people you know, who do things, good things in the SCA. I want you to see what awards they have. Go look it up. Seriously. And there are going to be a couple of awards on there you don't know. I guarantee it. That's okay. You can look up those awards. There's a awards constitution on the uh, Herald's webpage. Or you can, you can go online, go to Facebook, go to Discord. And you can ask, hey, what's this? This is not steroid award. I don't know what it means. What is this given for? Go ahead. You don't have to listen to names. You don't have to listen to any names at all. Just say, I want to give, or just say, I want to know what this award means. And they'll tell you. And if someone asks why, tell them, I'm curious. There's nothing wrong with being curious. You are curious. You don't owe them an explanation as to why you're looking it up. And that's none of their business. And that's the type of thing you want to keep close to your chest. So you're invariably, you're going to have a friend out there, or two, or three, or five, or ten, who suddenly they don't have awards for what you see them do all the time. Seriously. So-and-so who's been helping out for two years straight. He's a paid member. He's an officer. He never got around to getting him his AOA. So-and-so who's been um, painting scrolls for the kingdom for two years. Doesn't have a service award. Been doing a lot of them. Sounds like it may even be Sable Crane territory. Service to Kingdom, Arts and Science, ANS, or Service to Kingdom at the AOA level. That's something you can look into. Helping out at officer meetings, making things, painting things, service to the local baron and baroness. All of these things, there are awards for them, and you're going to find people who don't have awards. So what do you do? Well, that's the next step. Also, in the show notes, you're going to see a link to the Ansteor and Award Recommendation Form. I want you to go there. Now, it's a Google form. It's online. And it's going to ask you a bunch of questions. The, hard, the easy questions are the name, name of the person, what event are they next going to be at, uh, it's going to ask for your contact information so the Crown can reach out to you if they have any questions. Um, it's going to ask you a couple of basic things. But it's also going to ask, who's this person? Make sure to put their SCA name in there. It's going to ask, what award are you recommending them for? You may want to talk to a Herald about that. You, it's going to ask you, it's going to ask you for something. So, you know, find someone you know and trust who's not going to blab that you're looking to do an award recommendation and say, hey, what, what are some service awards? Or, or this person is doing this. Is this a, what, what kind of award? What kind of, what is this? That they should be recognized. 
And then the hard part for me anyway is the block where you talk about what do they do. Don't ask me why. It's complicated. It's long. Everyone's different. But you always get to that block and you're like, uh, but they are. And then words fail you and you can't describe why they're awesome or what do they do. That's where I usually tell people, okay, leave that blank. Go to the kitchen. Get a soda. Go watch TV for a half hour. Clear your head. Come back. And try again. Fill that form out. You may want to reach out to someone else. You know, if if you're trying to fill out a form for someone for a recommendation, talk to a friend. Talk to someone who's played longer. Talk to a local peer. Talk to your baron or baroness. Talk to past leadership. You may even, in your area, you may even have a past crown. Talk to them. It's all right. Just don't talk to the person you're writing the award rack for, obviously. But fill that out. And maybe you want to get your letter checked by someone else. You know, copy the text. Go online. Talk to someone who's been playing a while. Say, hey, can you look at this? Tell me if this makes sense. Then submit it. Then go do it again. I'm not kidding, guys. There's something to be said for awards. Awards that are have high prestige because they're so rare. But right now, we have so many people who aren't getting the recognition that they've rightfully earned. And as much as we want to point fingers, the bottom line is that if there are no award recommendations received, the Crown's not going to know. Now, whether or not the Crown chooses to give an award is ultimately their decision. Don't feel like the letter you're writing is obligating them. But what is absolutely essential is you need to tell them what you're seeing. You need to tell them what you're seeing. Because they're not seeing it. I promise. Sure, maybe someone's told them. Maybe, maybe someone has mentioned what they're seeing. But your voice counts. You need to tell them with your words all the awesome things that are going on. Because that's, that's how good people get recognized. That's how... That's how good things happen to good people. These people like you and I get together and we tell the crown by, we fill, by filling out that award recommendation form. So, you got some homework now. Go check the show notes. And if you're from outside the kingdom, I get it. Every kingdom does something differently. And as much as I've traveled, I don't know how the other kingdoms do it. You need to go look up your friends on your kingdom order of precedence, your OP. And then you need to find out from your friends, from your barons, from your leaders, from your peers, how do we write award recommendations? You need to start writing them. You need to start writing them now. And we need to keep that flow going. So, that's what I have for today. I look forward to seeing you all at the next event. Goodbye. And God bless.